Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I think I'm gonna keep this bridge just as is so I'm gonna go around like so. In fact that's why the secret exit is there. You'll see why later on. But for now I'm going to go to the Rock Candy Mines Tower number two, Sumo Bros Spinning Tower. Yeah, Sumo Bros are, uh, are these guys. I got, got a kind of mix up earlier in the walkthrough by calling the sledge bros you know the ones the chunky hammer brothers that uh, do earthquakes throw hammers those kinds of guys and they mix them up with these guys names somehow oh no you don't not this time i'm getting the jump on you so it's called the spinning tower because we have these bolts and you just spin on them to activate the platforms or whatever you're activating in this level and that's basically the gimmick of the level you gotta Time yourself. Oh, I wanted the wall kick up there and be all fancy. Yeah, fanciness. So you gotta find hidden paths and all sorts of stuff like that in this level. And hopefully I will do it all in one shot. There isn't a secret e exit, which is why I would like to do it in one one shot, if at all possible. Oh, that was close. If at all possible. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, no. Everyone, everyone's getting in my way. That's probably how they planned it. I can't get rid of that dry bones very easily. <laughs> oh! I mean, I could freeze it, I suppose, but it's not really the, I don't want to see, I guess, practical way to get rid of it. Oh, I should have killed it from below. What am, ah, I'm an idiot sometimes. Um, over here, this is a really tricky segment. Yeah, it's, it's one of these sorts of deals. And the last coin is up there. You gotta, you gotta... <laughs> Pick your moments very carefully. Yes, got it. Yes, got that. And wait, wait, wait. I've seen something up there that I would like to show. Hidden Luigi. Way up at the top. And oh, I should have checked the edges for power-ups. Oh, whatever. That's fine. And it's boss, Sumo Bro. Yeah, it's actually a transformation of a sumo world, but but you probably knew this from my other new Super Mario Brothers walkthrough, or new Super Mario Brothers U walkthrough. All you have to do is... Oh! Not that. What you want to do is knock him off the edge like that, and... Oh, actually, I could have gone between the gap, couldn't I have? Anyway, uh, once, once he's stunned like that, you can actually get him off to the point where he can't recover, just like, say, Boom Boom or something like that. Because he always jumps up to the same spot, and you can just re keep repeating that, just ground pound his belly, and it's going to be over before you know it. <laughs> yeah, I wish I knew that on my first run through a new Super Mario Brothers, <clears throat> Mario Brothers U, but I didn't, and I had a little bit of issues with that. It wasn't really that big of a deal, though, to have issues with it, but eh, well. Oh, in order to do the... Oh, nab it. In order to do the levels in order, I'm actually going to have to switch the bridges over. So I guess I'm, I guess I'll have to uh, deal with that, I suppose. But for now, I think I'm going to do that and take on Navit. Oh, I should have grabbed the power up. Me and my silly mistakes lately. I, I guess I'm just being really, really hasty lately. Before I, uh, uh, you know, like normally I think about my moves before I do them. Mm, haven't been doing that much lately. Oh. Yeah. And he's way ahead. <laughs> this is not a very practical level to jump through quickly. Although... Although... Oh! 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 Got really lucky there. I didn't even know that was there. Oh! Well... <laughs> that's about as lucky as I can expect to get. <laughs> oh, I do have a star. Why not take advantage of that? <laughs> and now he doesn't stand the chance because I can just dash through everything. I like that initial wall kick he does off the block that's pretty stylish. Bye bye. <laughs> I should say hello. But I mean bye bye to your streak of villainy. And another PA corn to add to my stash of ever-growing PA corns, because apparently I like to collect them. <laughs> I just haven't really found much use for them in the, in the terms of a walkthrough sense, because um, I li I'd rather like to show 
the way to do a level normally rather than cheesing through the whole thing. Anyway, oh, wait, 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 that's number seven. So I have to go back around for number six. Because if you recall, number six was this one at the coaster at this high speed level. It is right here. Spine Coaster Stowaways. And it's just what it says. Uh, things are going to end up plopping onto this coaster and becoming a problem. Oh, I bet that other one has a power. Well, guess I'm not doing this with a power. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Uh, that coin right there, it seems like you're gonna run out of time getting it, but just watch what it does. You can get it like, oh, I need a power for that. <laughs> but uh, that coin over there, just watch what it does. It, it just goes right back where you need it. Oh! That was close. You'll see once we get to a certain point. Now the coin's gonna catch up. And there's the coin. <laughs> so you don't have to worry about that first coin whatsoever. It just comes to you. Uh, but the second and third coins, however, I, I needed a power-up for the second coin, which I flubbed. But uh, that's another thing entirely. And the third coin is still coming up. It's right here! Oh! <laughs> I'm gonna have to take another run through this level anyway. Oh! Yeah! My jump was too high for my own good. <laughs> Alright, this time I'm gonna start with a power up. Just uh Why not? <laughs> I'm not gonna use it to cheat the level, I'm just gonna use it to um take hits basically. Cause I re I really think this power up is pretty cheap overall. Oh, there wasn't a power up in that second box. Unless it unless there was one. And it just was one of those things where if you already have a power, it turns... Oops, got lucky there. It turns into a, uh, a coin of sorts. And should I have hit that switch? I don't know, because I think it... Oh yeah, it unlocks that. So I guess I didn't need a power for that. Whoopsie. Oh! Okay, so I got two out of three. Oh, oh boy. Whoop. Must not panic. Must react to third coin and complete level. Must. Win effortlessly somehow. Oh, come on! Oh, oh that's fine. <laughs> I still have two more hits, and those piranhas at the tips are not really that big of an issue. Yes, got it. And, oh yeah! If you go around, it'll just keep looping like that. <laughs> All right. Whoop. So it gives you pretty much unlimited chances at getting. And the one up from that pole. Yeah. And now this connects over to that four-way path. Well, it was a three-way path. Now it's a uh, four-way path. I'm gonna hit the switch. I'm gonna have to solve a puzzle actually to get the last coin in the castle up there. But for now, let's work on Rock Candy Mines Dash Seven, the Switch Lift Express. And going in. What do they mean by switch lifts? Well, they mean this. They go really, really fast! <laughs> so be prepared to move very quickly when need be. Um, wait a second. Oh, I, well, I can do that. But what's... Is that really what they want me to do with this? Does it seem, that seems a little... Ah, oh, use that block to get up there, okay. I was gonna say, that seemed a little extreme for uh, the circumstances of getting in there. Oh! oh. Boop. And. Wait a second. I wanna follow this. I guess I do. I hope. <laughs> oh, that worked out. Uh, grab a shell. This is pretty handy for this bro here. Uh, I should say these bros. Throw it this way, then hit this switch. And. Oh, I wanted to time it so it went the other way in. I failed. <laughs> forgot that I need to get that coin first. That's fine, that's fine. Oh! Dang it. Wait a second, gotta kill you. There we go, I need to move that out of the way. Oh. Come on, this is possible. Just stop. Maybe it's not possible as being small. Is there a block that I can use? No? Oh well. I'm gonna have to go through this level twice anyway, so whatever, I guess. I wonder if there's a secret above the ceiling. That looks like something that they would do, because it, that last section looked sort of like stairs in a way. Like if you were to go left before going in the pipe. I guess we'll see on the next run, I suppose. Whoop. 
and this opens up the path to the castle, which I'm not going to do just yet. And it also opens up the path down there. But, uh, that's kind of irrelevant, actually. Unless you need to do the... Wait, no, actually, that, that is important to get to that mushroom house. Pardon me. Alright. This time... I will be successful. Because I know where the coins are and I won't flub it up. I shouldn't say that. There's always a chance of me flubbing it up. <laughs> uh, there's always a power up here so that you can do this move. Yeah. Because otherwise you'd be kind of stuck here. Okay. Um, maybe I'll. S uh, I don't know. This is actually it feels safer to oops to go through here than otherwise. I don't know why. Uh, oh jeez. Oh. Okay. Is there any? Is there any real reason why you want? To oh jeez. Such slippery physics with Luigi. Forgot about that. <laughs> I don't know how I keep forgetting about that. Um. This because I've been playing as Luigi for so uh for so long in this walkthrough. To, you know, to the point that I thought it would be. That I've mastered it by now or something, I don't know. <laughs> this is the slippery physics is actually why I choose Mario over uh, Luigi when it comes to characters. No discrimination against Luigi just as a character, just because I mean it's mostly about the physics, so <laughs> Alright. 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 I'm gonna skip that. I'm <laughs> like why do I need to do that? There's no reason to. Oh. Oh, okay. Now, I'm going to... There we go. You don't want to hit that switch because you can get it up here. That makes a lot of sense. And there is something up here. Coinages! And it leads just back over here. Okie dokie. Maybe that was a bad idea to do because now I gotta get through this. Well, I can just... Oh, there we go. And skip. Skip and go. Voila, another level beaten. And bloop. I wonder if that's like supposed to propel you to the flagpole if you were to jump. I'm not sure about that. Cause they they go really fast. Yeah. Yeah, I'll probably do the castle as well as the mushroom house of this part. This seems like this part's gonna end up being small if I don't, so yeah. Alright, if you want to go to the Mushroom House, take this path, hit the blue switch, go around, go back up through here, and go inside. So, item house time. Which type should I be watching? The Bowser or the items? The items, because there's less of them. Alright. Try and blur your eyes across the whole thing to watch both at once, if at all possible, and I think I think I know which ones it is. Yes! Not too shabby. And I got a star for the uh, uh, last Nabbit chase coming up, so that means I am set and good to go. Whee! Alright, so this castle that's coming up is rather interesting because the way it's designed, you actually have to go through it twice. This is Roy's Ironclad Castle. I should say, you have to go a Go through it twice if you want to 100% it and it's a oh pretty good puzzle of sorts to uh, uh, have it set up this way you'll see why uh, once I do that there's there's two coins on this side of the castle but there's another path entirely uh, by going through the back door of this castle it's very clever design all right and wait a second oh wait a second I gotta get ahead of that absolutely got to get ahead of that because I got to go in here yes and let that sink to get out of my way and I'll hit that just to get things on the move oh I'm afraid to move <laughs> uh, can I get away with just sitting here because that bony beetle is really in my way <laughs> oh, that worked oh 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 Okay, looking for a power-up, very good. And there's the uh, other path, or the other path leads, I mean, uh, crosses over to, which I have to go through the back door to get into. But for now, it's boss time. And the other path is significantly shorter than the main path, but it's a lot more intense overall. 
Again, you'll see when I take that path, it's a mandatory thing if you want 100%. Hey, how's it going? Got some ballistics? Well, you're not gonna get to use them too much. <laughs> uh, he can jump up on the platforms and shoot stuff at you as well, but I'm pretty sure you know how to dodge stuff shot at you through the air by now if you've been playing this game, yeah. <laughs> So this boss should be pretty routine for you overall. And do you always end up at the center? That is my question to you. I think you do. If you do, then that means I can just... Well, nope, not that time. So I guess I just have to react to you in order to prevent you from getting back on track. Woo! And now we have unlocked the path to World 7, which I'm going to do in the next part. <laughs> but for now, I've got to go do the secret backdoor path to the castle in order to fully finish off that level. Woo! Don't celebrate too quickly, Luigi. And now, yeah, I will. It's always nice to have a hard save rather than having the quick save. And hit this one. And because of this bridge, now we're able to go around like this and jump through this block and end up at the back door of Roy's Ironclad Castle. So, let's do it. Uh, be careful though. Got Poto Boos. Oh, I was bad timing on my jump. Uh, wait, what do I want to do there? Probably get myself in a better position. There we go. That would, that would be a near impossible jump if I would have went for that. And look at that, it's a really, really short path. Mm, I even get two powers for that. Alright, Roy. Rematch of the century. Well, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll let him do some more stuff this time. Like, rather than just not giving him a chance whatsoever, maybe I'll play around with him a little bit this boss battle. <laughs> Why not? I got two powers. I should say I got two hits to mess around with. It doesn't take me too long to get through the secret backdoor path. Oh, and uh, you can hit the boss with fireballs, but it takes quite a lot of hits, and it's just simply faster than... I mean, it's just simply faster to jump on him than to... Whoopsie. Yes, than to... Whoopsie. That is exactly what I, what I meant to say. <laughs> than to... Uh, um, oh. Ah, I just lost my entire train of thought. Alright, let's see if he does anything different on the second phase. I gotta to pop some more little airship platforms. And oh homing bullet bills. That's fancy. Yeah, those red flashing bullet bills home in on you when they see you and then they'll try and track you wherever you are. Alright, what's your third phase? What do you have? Platforms seem a little faster and more aggressive. The bullets don't seem that much more impressive or more aggressive. Well, you seem a little bit more aggressive, and I guess that's your third move. You just ground pound and shoot bullet bills from both sides. Woo! Kind of sounds like Luigi saying that he's a wiener. I don't know. <laughs> I guess it's my immature side to uh, to think that when he says that, because it just sounds like that in his uh, uh, accent. Alright, I got all the star coins, 100%ed world 6. With that, I think it's a good time to end off the part. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.